So if we want to visualize how these budgeted hourly rates and these other costs that the customer has to pay for um, are incorporated into the total cost for the run portion of a printing job, um, we can look at the list that I have on the screen here. Um, the printing plates might cost $400 uh, for the printing plates. Maybe they're $100 each and there's four plates. Um, the customer chooses a really expensive paper, so the paper is $1,750, $75 for ink. All of those things, they're dependent on the customer, so they're not charged per hour. They're just the, the total price of whatever they pick. Now the next three, um, $500 to set up the press. Maybe the setup is one hour, and we've decided that the budgeted hourly rate for this particular printing press is $500 per hour. I made that up. We haven't established an actual DHR yet. The run time, or how long the sheets are going to be printed, um, is six hours. So if we multiply that by $500, we get $3,000. And we're last, um, wash up is one hour, and that's $500, because we charge $500 per hour to run our printing press. So the total cost of the run portion of this job is $6,225. However, the budgeted hourly rate only covers 4000 of that. $2,225 are from customer-specific selections. So now that we have identified that the cost to produce something, in our case we're talking about printing, but it can be anything, it has hourly rate charges plus material costs basically. Um, we can start to identify the cost centers that we're going to have to use to create our own personal DHR. So we identified cost centers in our daily lives during the cost centers quiz last week. These same cost centers are used for calculating budgeted hourly rates. The only difference between what we did for homework and what a company does to establish a BHR is how the items are organized. So for our homework last week, we just identified our daily operating cost, right? So we identified everything that we purchased that day, added it all up and decided if we were profitable or not. What a company is going to do, they're going to group them into different areas. So you have the run cost centers and you have the binding cost centers and pre-press cost centers. So you have a different hourly rate for different areas of your company. To create a BHR, we must group cost centers together. For example, to establish a working BHR for a printing press, we must group all fixed and variable costs associated with that press for an entire year together. Once we know how much it will cost to own that press for one year, we can break it down into an hourly rate. We do not include customer-specific variable costs when creating a BHR. These costs, like paper and ink, are strictly dependent on how many jobs are sold, the colors of the ink, and the type of papers that customers want. We charge these as additional costs as jobs are booked, so keep that in mind. Let's identify all cost centers required to own a printing press for one year. These are all of the costs we'll pay to own the printing press, whether we print one job or one million jobs. So, I've broken it into four steps here, but if you were doing this at a real company, there would be tons of different steps in involved. So our press has a $3,500 monthly lease payment, which means that we pay $42,000 per year to own the press. We pay $625 per month for press insurance. So 625 times 12 is $7,500 per year. Our average monthly electric bill last year was $900, which means we paid $10,800 in electric and we spent $7,000 last year on maintenance. The total cost we should expect to pay for this press for one year of operation is $67,300. That is the numbers above summed. As a company, we need to incorporate these costs into every job that we price for clients. So if someone wants to run something on the printing press, even though it only has a lease payment of $42,000 per year, we have to charge them $67,300 to run the printing press. The budgeted hourly rate for this printing press can be calculated by dividing the total cost to operate it for one year by the total number of hours it will be in use for one year. So what is the budgeted hourly rate for this printing press if the printing company will run the press for 300 hours in the year? So we've already established it costs the company $67,300 per year to have the press, whether we print one job or zero jobs. We'll divide that by the $300 the 300 hours it will be in operation and we get a budgeted hourly rate that we have to charge of $224.33. Now what if we add a second shift and now instead of having it operational for 300 hours 
it's operational for 600 hours. It would still be the same formula, the total cost to operate it for a year, which is $67,300, and this time we divide it by 600 hours, which would give us a budgeted hourly rate of $112.16.